What's going on everyone? I am me, you are you, and welcome back to Subnautica. And before we continue, I just want to um, let you know that the reason there's a lot of Subnautica at the moment is because I don't really have time for Minecraft, to be honest. I mean, um, before we go any further with Minecraft, I need to mine a lot of resources. And it's become very busy in the upcoming few days to the end of the year. So, I've not really had much time, I'm afraid. But, hopefully, we should get Minecraft back eventually. Anyway, what we're going to do today is build the prawn suit. Because, I think it's pretty cool, and I've never tried it before. And, I want to build it. So, yeah, we'll put the, the rest of the Aurora on hold for now. And, as I say, what we're going to do today is build that. So, let's get to it. Uh, I'll go ahead and get through all this and get back to base, and we'll take it from there. And we're back. So, what do we need to make the prawn suit? We need... Give me a second. We need... Two aluminum oxide crystals, two plasteel ingots, two aerogel, and two lubricant. Hmm. Now, as far as I can remember, apart from aerogel, uh, I know where to get all that stuff, luckily. I don't know, as I say though, I don't know about aerogel. I've not come across that before. So, the first thing to get, I'd say, is the aluminum oxide crystal. Which is, if I remember correctly, in the Grand Reef. Which is, that way. Yes. Okay, so, we're gonna go ahead and get in the Cyclops, and then we'll head to the Grand Reef. So let's do that. And also, in case you, uh, when I say that way, the Grand Reef is, it's basically underneath the island, the first one. Onward to the Grand Reef. Now, something I really like about the Cyclops is that you can do this. Aha! I can see below me. See what's directly below me, in fact. I can see what's actually going on. And I love that. I find that really cool. And I can still go forward, but even though, like even though I'm looking down, I can still go forward. Can't do that in the the sea moth. Like in the sea moth, if you look down, you go down. With this, you go straight on. Whoa! Ooh. That looks interesting. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Let's go down there and find out. I don't know if you just saw that sign or not, but it said, there's not much in this area and the cause is unknown. And that suddenly terrifies me. So we'll go down there another day. For now, let's continue on to the Grand Reef where I know it's safe. Okay then, assuming they've not changed it, and assuming I remember correctly, uh, the Grand Reef should be directly below. So, let's go ahead and look straight down into the nothingness, and see what's below. Down we go. I see something. Still going down. Yes, this is the Grand Reef, and it is also night time, which, well, I know the Grand Reef is safe, so that's not too much of an issue, and, well, hmm, the light isn't terrible, so I'm not going to wait till day. Oh, actually, I don't, huh, you see those white little crystal looking things, that's, they're exactly what we need, so we don't actually need to go that far at all. In fact, we just need to literally go here. So let's go get the stuff we need. Into the sea moth. Welcome aboard, Captain. And one. And two. Three. And four. Cool. Okay, let's head back to base and get what we need to get next. 
Rise. Whoa. A bit higher than I expected. Away we go. So then, the next thing we need is two plasteel ingots. And to make plasteel ingots, you need lithium and titanium ingots. And to make titanium ingots, it's 10 titanium. So, what I'm saying is we need 20 titanium and two lithium. Which actually isn't that bad, considering we've already got this titanium and lithium. Shouldn't take too long. So, I'll go ahead and make that, and then I'll see you right now. And a one. And a two. Okay, so, we've got our plasteel ingots. Next on the list is aerogel. Ah, yes. The stuff I don't know where to get. Right then. I am going to quickly look up how to make aerogel because honestly I haven't a clue. Okay then. To make aerogel we need spore saps, which are luckily found quite locally. So I'll have a look around for them and I'll get back to you once I've found them. Now, apparently they're found down here. They're, they're in other places too, but I just quite enjoy this area. I want to explore it some more. Alright then. What's that? Power cell charger. How did I miss that the first time? I need that. That's useful. What else is around? Oh hey, a PDA. And another fragment. What's this? Moon pool. Ah, yes. I need a moon pool. That's very useful. And I also found a PDA. I saw it glowing. What else did I miss? <laughs> now, how did I miss that? That's just right there. I can't believe I didn't see this the first time. Yes! Another moon pool fragment. Okay. We can now make a moon pool, which is really good because it means we need to get back in here as soon as possible before, before that thing sees us. Moving away now. Goodbye. As I was saying, what the moon pool can do for us is we can upgrade our Seamoth in it. Like, we can rename it, recolor it, add proper upgrades to it. It's really cool. Ah, I love the moon pool. It's kind of like an extension to the base. Anyway, I couldn't find much else back there. I'm surprised I missed all that stuff the first time. But we need to get back to our mission, which is to find spore sacks. Okay, I couldn't find any spore sacks down here. So we're going to return to the surface and see if we can find any up there. Still looking. <laughs> okay, so I've not found a single spore sack yet, and I need to find six. So, considering that, I'm probably going to run out of time for today's episode. So what I'm going to do is finish up here, uh, hunt a whole bunch off camera, and then in the second part, in the next episode, will actually make the prawn soup. So, on that note, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.